This is Daniel who says, are Christians still under the Ten Commandments? Do Christians have to obey them? Oh. Hello, I am Michael Pearl, and you are at the door tonight. I'm answering Bible questions. A re reader asked, this is from Mun Luke from Munford, Tennessee. He says, if we're not required to keep the Sabbath like the Jews in the Old Testament, then what about the other commandments like thou shall not kill or commit adultery or stealing? Is just the fourth commandment abrogated? All right, you need to, you need to go back to my Romans series, which is available. I'm sure there are many people inside the church and especially outside the church who would say the Ten Commandments are irrelevant, they're antiquated, this was uh, a moral code for a different time. Some of them even are offensive to us now. You know, you, you, you read these stories of people crowdsourcing their Ten Commandments and just having some kind of online contest and what they come up with is it, uh, on the one hand, vastly different. They'll have rules about you know, being true to yourself or don't judge anyone. And yet, uh, I have written a book on the Ten Commandments, and I am going to rewrite this book, and I'm going to call it the Ten uh, fortresses, the Ten Protections. The Ten Commandments were set up to protect people from being uh, maligned, from having their property stolen, from having their life taken away from them. And the biggest thing about it is, I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. You'll have no other gods before me. We're always under that one, absolutely. But in terms of the of the, uh, not the commandments, but all the dietary laws. Jesus set us free from all those things. We're not under those dietary laws. I wish I could answer the question of whether Christians are obligated to obey the Ten Commandments with a simple yes or no. Uh, I could answer either way and be right both ways, but it would have to be within a certain grid. If you think of the Ten Commandments as the apex of the Old Covenant, the Mosaic Covenant, then I'd want to say Christians are not under the Old Covenant. In that sense, they're not obligated to obey the Ten Commandments seen as part of the Mosaic Covenant. We're under the New Covenant. But that actually raises the question, what is the relationship between the Old Covenant and the New Covenant? And clearly, there are lines of continuity between the two. Uh, for, for example, you do not find that um, Paul says anywhere, well, the old covenant specified you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, you're free from the law, oh, happy condition, and now you can sleep with anybody you like. Um, he has many restrictions regarding sexual immorality. And, and thus, there are commonalities of restraint, of warning, of threat, in fact, probing deeper analyses of the nature of sin under the New Covenant that align with the Old. Um,
the nature of sin under the new covenant that align with the old. Let's get to our next question. Here's one from Melissa. What did Jesus mean when he said in Matthew 5 that the law will not pass away until it is fulfilled? Does this mean we don't have to keep the Does this mean we don't have to keep the 10 commandments? Thanks Melissa. Uh, yeah, Jesus says in Matthew 5:18, "For truly I say to you until heaven and earth pass away, not a, a yoda, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished." Not the smallest marking is going to disappear. Uh, And that means that Jesus came not to abolish the Old Testament, which is what he's talking about here. Uh, He didn't come to just, you know, erase the the whiteboard and start all over again. He came to fulfill everything in the law. Everything in the Old Testament pointed to him, and he came to fulfill it. Uh, That's really important because I think a lot of people— Today, Melissa, have this idea that somehow Jesus came basically You've trusted my son. You've been grafted into him. You are in Christ Jesus. He fulfilled the law perfectly. He covered all your sins. God sees you in and through him. Therefore, as far as final judgment goes and God being 100% for you is settled and nothing's going to change it. Now, shall we sin that grace may abound? And Paul says, dead men don't sin. Now that we reviewed the Ten Commandments individually, let's move on to answer the questions I asked in that last video. If you missed that video, just click the link here to watch. The questions are, what is the purpose of not just the Ten Commandments, but all the laws in the Old Testament? And second, are Christians today required to follow the Ten Commandments or any of the Old Testament laws? First of all, in the Old Testament, there are three types of commands or laws God told his people to follow. Civil laws, ceremonial laws, and moral laws. The 